Matt, we heard Luke Prokop talk about the importance of winning the first game this morning. Uh, now that you've gone and done that this evening, um, how important was it to get the job done today? Yeah, in, in a tournament format, you know, you want to get off on the right foot. Um, you know, every game is magnified. You know, you can't, you can't ease your way into the tournament. Um, you know, so getting the win is important. You know, we didn't have our best game, um, but um, sometimes you have to find a way to win, and we did that tonight. For Kyle, you guys found yourselves in two deficits tonight, and your line with Jared uh, and Lucas uh, kind of perhaps set the tone a little bit and, and set the tone offensively as well, uh, yourself scoring three goals. But I want to ask you just, you know, about your group's resiliency and, you know, being able to battle back from one nothing and 2-1 deficits today. Yeah, I thought we did a good job. Um, obviously, Millie, Millie shut the door for us, and I think we just kind of had to simplify. Once we got down, we were, you know, giving them some pretty good chances off of our turnovers. So once we, once we simplified and just, you know, kind of threw it in their zone and, and uh, pressured, I thought we did a, did a good job. Yeah. Uh, for Coach, uh, the first 10 minutes, the Pete's were pressuring you guys pretty good. What were they bringing that was frustrating you, perhaps? Yeah, I mean, they... They can tr transition pretty well if you don't take care of the puck, and that's what was happening for us. We were a little bit stubborn to make the simple plays with the puck, and it was getting us in trouble. Um, you know, obviously giving up a, basically a two on all is not not part of the plan. Um, you know, that was a high zone turnover. So, um, you know, we need to limit those mistakes, take what's given with the puck, and you know, we when we did that, we started to have success in the game. Can both of you touch on how Seattle consistently outscores the opponents in the third period? We saw it during the regular season. We saw it during the playoffs, and we're seeing it again here. Yeah. Um, you know, I think it's our, our style of play. Um, you know, it, it can accumulate over the course of a game. You know, we want to play a lot in the opposition zone, play a lot uh, below their goal line. And if we're doing a good job of that, um, you know, it could set us up for a good third period, um, you know, wearing our opponent down, um, you know, really, really making them, you know, carry our weight uh, in the O zone. And, you know, I, I think that's part of it. But, you know, I think just heightened awareness, you know, when the game's on the line, you know, our, our guys uh, step up to get the job done. Matt, a comment on your captain, uh, Lucas Siona. Game two against Winnipeg. He mixes it up with a stop chuck in the first period, and that seemed to spur on your team in that game too. You know, tonight he gets uh, mixed up, uh, you know, in the first and second period as well, and it seemed to maybe light a bit of a spark under your group. Just, you know, comment on his leadership qualities and, you know, just willing to do the little things to, to kind of get, light a fire, fire under you guys. Yeah, that's the type of player he is. He's a well-rounded player. He can do a bit of everything for us. You know, he's mindful of the times where we might need a spark, and... You know, getting involved physically or, or mixing it up at the right time, you know, that's something he can do. Um, you know, had a, obviously the, the, the first goal for us. He was, you know, the, there to get that, to get us going. And, you know, he had a really good four check uh, to help create a turnover uh, for one of uh, Kyle's goals. So, you know, that, that's what you need at this time of the year from your leaders. And, you know, it was a really good game from Lucas. Last one from me, uh, thought on Jordan Gustafson as well, you know, getting rewarded in the third period, a guy that, you know, came back in game five for you guys last week and uh, has been kind of playing up and down the lineup. You used him in a few different combinations tonight, just a thought on his game and, and what he brings to your group. Yeah, he played really well. Um, you know, we're kind of easing him back in, you know, coming back off of off of injury. Um, you know, we had, uh, you know, a guy go down. So, you know, we needed to rely on Gus a little bit more. And he's just that team player that he's going to be ready for any situation, um, you know, and, and when he got that opportunity to, to play a little bit more, you know, we kind of sped up the easing him in process and he was great for us. Um, really good on the penalty kill, obviously chipped in with that big goal late in the game. Um, he's just, he, he, can, he does a little bit of everything for us, just tremendous player. Kyle, on that second goal, the, the celly of Lucas just picking you up, were you expecting that and just, uh, how would you describe playing with him and that bond you guys have? Clearly, it looks like you guys have a ton of fun out there together. Yeah, the Selly. I mean, he's he's a strong guy, and we were both excited, and I kind of jumped, and I mean, before you know it, I was in the air, and I mean, he's such an easy guy to play with. He he goes all to all the hard areas and, and sticks up for his teammates, and 
I mean, he's smart with the puck, so I, I really enjoy playing with him. All right, we're good. Thanks, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you.